welcome to my English voice. So today's lesson is about Lotte Schellen, the football player. Uh, so if you haven't done the worksheet yet, go and do that and then come back and watch this answer key video. So what about the discussion question? Uh, she talked about wanting to be a footballer from when she was a child, this was her dream. And she talked about what helped her, which was uh, her dad playing football with her when she was younger. So the question is, what did you dream of doing when you were younger and what helped you? Or what stopped you from following your dreams? Um, so when I was younger, I dreamed of being a journalist, like working for the BBC on the TV and like reading out the news. This was my dream. Um, and I did go into journalism. I used to work in newspapers. And what helped me to do that was to go and do work experience um, in a company. So work experience is when you're not paid to go and work there, but you just learn a little bit about it for, I think I did two weeks, three weeks, something like that. And that helped me to get a job in journalism afterwards. Um, but then, yeah, I didn't follow my dreams to go on to work in TV, I guess. What stopped me was that I enjoyed what I was doing on newspapers, and so I carried on doing that. Although I guess this is kind of similar. It's nice to be speaking to you here on YouTube. This is more fun anyway. <laughs> okay, so what about you? Uh, what was your dream when you were younger? Put your comments in the box below. Okay, so what about the Swedish accent? Remember there are three things to focus on for clear communication. The first one are the consonants. Um, with Lotta, I noticed that she pronounced the T like in little. She pronounced this a bit like a D sound, like little. Um, this is quite an American pronunciation, so I think a lot of people pick this up maybe from films, things like that. Maybe she was living in the US. Um, so that sometimes can be not clear for people. Um, the second thing to think about is the long and short vowels. It sounded to me like she was making these different. And the third thing is sentence stress, making the important words longer, louder and higher. And I thought she really used this. So for example, she said like, it wasn't my main goal and she really stressed like main goal. And that really helped me to get the main message. But what did you think? If you have a different opinion, just put it in the comments box below. Okay, so what about other Swedish speakers of English? You might notice that the Z could sound like S, so razor could sound like Racer. The J sound could sound like Y, so G could sound like Y. And W and V might sound the same, so wine might sound the same as vine. And the last one to think about is the J sound, like measure, could sound like SH, measure, so J and SH could sound the same. Okay, so remember that there could be lots of different things in her accent that don't sound the same as your accent, but different does not necessarily mean better or worse, so it doesn't mean that you can't understand just because it's different. Uh, vowel sounds are often different in many different languages. Oh, oh we've got a gecko in the class today. <laughs> and, and the other thing is the th. The th and th could sound like d. I think that Lotta actually in her speaking there was some, some examples of this, uh, the d sound. Okay, so thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and also subscribe to the newsletter so that you can get updates of new lessons. The lessons come out on Thursdays and on Saturdays. And most importantly, share your English voice with my English voice. Thank you.